Living in the Arizona desert is a breathtaking experience. And living among the beautiful green landscapes of the state of Wisconsin is a perfect combination that inspires me as an architectural student and completes my Taliesin experience. My name is Pablo Moncayo and I am very proud to say that I am a second year master student here at Taliesin, the Franklin Wright School of Architecture. I'm originally from Chihuahua, Mexico, but I became a U.S. citizen in 2011. I started my undergrad at Taliesin in 2010 and graduated last year with honors. I came back for my accredited master's degree and I am currently in the second year. This is an all-year-round very intense program. The school has two campuses, Taliesin West in Scottsdale, Arizona, where we spend seven months of the year during the winter. Here, we live in shelters designed built and experienced by students. The shelters are very small in footprint and none of them have electricity or water, but we do have locker rooms with toilets and showers as well as room for our clothes. Two years ago, I renovated a shelter called the Tree House. The shelter was in really bad shape, from pack rat holes in the walls to water leaking issues in the roof. Some of my family members helped me at the beginning of the renovation, then some of the students and faculty members helped me towards the end. Last year we built a shelter called the Cube. The highlight for me about this project was to get my hands on, from tearing down the existing foundation, to making the forms for the new foundation, putting up the walls, insulation, installing the doors and windows, restoring the landscape, and of course, working with all the other students. At this school, it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl, if you're young or if you're old. If you're part of the class, you are expected to do construction. Every season we get to experience a different shelter. The idea is to learn the things that do work, but also the things that don't work in that shelter. That way, in the future, when you design your own, you will know the things that you have to take into consideration. And I'm not just talking about the sun and the landscape. I'm also talking about the wildlife. In the desert, we have javelinas, bobcats, deer, scorpions, rattlesnakes, pack rats, and sometimes students. <laughs> I am very excited because next season I will be building my own shelter from scratch, so stay tuned because I will upload more information as we get closer. We usually have one to two weeks to move back and forth between campuses, and if you feel adventurous, you can drive the school truck across country with everyone's stuff. I did it once and it was a lot of fun. I traveled with a very good friend of mine and we stopped at different national parks. The other five months of the year, during the summer, we migrate to Spring Green, Wisconsin. There, we live in dorm rooms and we do have electricity and water. In both campuses, we are involved with community work. Every week, the students have to either help the chef to cook in the kitchen, do the dishes, set up the dining room tables, clean the studio, the theater, etc. But my favorite in Wisconsin is the garden. We grow our own vegetables, from tomatoes to onions, squash, cauliflower, lettuce, cucumbers, and all kinds of vegetables. 
you name it, we have it. <laughs> So this is our garden, um, today I'm going to be cooking in the kitchen so I came to grab some onions and tomatoes because I'm going to teach the new students how, how to make really good Mexican salsa. Um, so yeah, welcome to our garden. <laughs> Every month we have an event called Taliesin Formal Evening. This is an opportunity for us to either practice what we have learned from our community or talk to our guests about the program. If you are working, you will be doing things such as designing the invitations and the programs, the table arrangements, cooking, serving, cleanup, etc. But if you get to sit and enjoy the party, not only are you going to be talking to our guests, but you're also going to be making connections which is a great opportunity for us students to get to know professionals in architecture and other fields. We are very lucky to be able to study in two of the most amazing studios and literally live architecture every time we walk around both campuses. When I applied to school, I was very immature, I was not sure of the path I wanted to go professionally, I was very shy, and my English was really bad. I am very proud about what I've accomplished all these years at Taliesin. Now I know that architecture is my professional passion. Taliesin has prepared me not only architecturally, but also personally. I learned how to work individually as well as part of a group. They turn a shy student without confidence into a student that can take leadership in many areas. I can design, I can draft, I can cook, I can weld, I can demolish and construct buildings. Because we have students from all over the world, I learn about different cultures. Since I've been a student here at Taliesin, I've been to study trips to Greece, Turkey, Mexico, Japan, and all over the US, as well as represent our school in AIAS events. Taliesin has a great variety of faculty members. Some of them were apprentices of Franklin Wright, others are local, and we also have international well-known professionals that come and go. Most of the classes are no bigger than 10 students. The teachers really get to know your strengths and weaknesses. This is how they are able to challenge us and push ourselves to the limits. One of my highlights at Taliesin West was the time I personally gave a tour of our shelters, including mine, to Renzo Piano and his family. I still cannot believe that happened to me. <laughs> to give you an idea of how my architectural skills were when I first came to the program, I didn't know any computer drafting programs. I was doing my drawings on Microsoft Paint. None of my drawings were in scale. My rendering skills were embarrassing and awful. But within my first year, I went from this to this. Now I am very comfortable with a couple of computer drafting, 3D modeling and rendering programs. Thanks to all the skills that I've learned to represent my designs the best way possible, I've won a couple of student competitions and scholarships. You come to Taliesin empty-handed and you leave not only with just an accredited degree, but with an experience that you cannot get anywhere else. Every year, 20 to 30 lucky students from all around the world get to be part of a legacy that Franklin Wright started. I am very proud to be able to share my Taliesin journey with all of you, and I hope the school continues making architects for the future to inspire others to follow their dreams. I dedicate this video to my parents for their support all these years. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Pops channel if you want to see more videos of me and Pops and I will put all my links down on the description box. See you next time. Adios.